all right what is going on today youtube we're going in with some board breaker vindreds because that's what um i feel like the deck is the best utilized around is to break some boards so let's see how many boards we can break today um not looking oh it looks like he's starting off pretty oh no now we get a night mm, we'll, we'll, allow, we'll allow that to happen because the most thing i could see Okay. Didn't see that one coming, but wow, no, no, no darks, not a single one. That's that's weird. That's very, very weird. But I think we can get some um, darks in our hand here. Um, that's actually really good with infinite, infinite transients. All right, so I think right here we just black rose. I feel like we do. So like that's clearly the best option right now um, you don't really want to leave your opponents with too many cards in this this field can't attack anyway so yeah let's go okay all right so that actually would have been pretty bad um, we probably could be playing uh, you know what I just noticed again I didn't build a side deck for this deck I did not build a side deck for this deck so yeah we're, we're literally playing a match with no side deck okay so here I know what he's playing but what can he see steam the cloak or destrudo um that that too he can also send that which is completely fine I'm not tripping um, I believe here is where we can take um, I don't know why I didn't put the, okay yeah we could definitely take um, take take control of this whole game here well uh, we'll definitely be able to win unless he goes to a six star that tributes or something okay flame very okay it's a little it's a little tough for me a little tough for me uh, pre prep there we go now that is what you call a game that is game that is complete game and um yeah we're just gonna kill our opponent no nope, we didn't even need to do that but we'll just kill our opponent here and uh like specter sword is becoming a lot better especially with um what's the name when uh summer sorceress does eventually get released in the tcg uh clearly what's the name is going to be i believe a lot better uh specter sword is going to be a lot better to be played in the deck because it will do a ton more because pretty much when you do this play this doesn't really like the the spirit master coming back really doesn't matter um it's just really about you know oh i thought it was in a match what happened i picked match that was a little weird let's go build a side deck here folks let's go build a side deck all right folks so we are back and um yeah we we, we got a match so let's see what we can do all right so i've made my side deck and my side deck is going to be real spicy i don't think a lot of people think about this going second okay oh yeah and i also added ash blossoms because you guys you know keep saying hey man why are you not playing ash blossoms well folks you guys are exactly gonna find out why i do not play ash blossoms because i feel like it's going to happen in this i'm watch i'm going to go against the deck where ash blossom is absolutely terrible i already know it because it happens every time and like i said i i just have bad experiences with ash blossom and we're about to get ghost ogre here so He's not gonna ghost over me. That's crazy. I don't know why he wouldn't. I don't know why he wouldn't. I really don't. That's a little weird. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go to our Omega. And we also have Barrel on our hand, um, which is really, really good because then um, us getting ghost over really does not matter. Um, we're still able to do some things. There's a Kaiju. So I think if he's playing Kaijus, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to double Omega him. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I got to double Omega this man because uh, if you if I if I didn't see that Kaiju, I definitely wouldn't have went into another one. Um, I definitely would have went Don Draxter right here because with Don Draxter, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't have to use a card out of my hand. And um, I'm pretty uh, straight with this. So let's target you because if he gets Ghost Ogre, he still becomes uh, level five. 
And um, and like I said, if I get Ghost Ogre, then um, I'm able to use the burial. So let's use this again. Let's see what else. You, is it Gradles? I feel like it's some type of Gradle. Why would you do it now? There's there's no point for that. All right. So with that being said, we'll end our turn. We'll end our turn right now. Let's see. I don't know why he didn't. First of all, I would have Ghost Ogre definitely on that Unizombie because uh not have been pretty much emergency cyber hmm no i'm not gonna ash that um okay oh he oh, see like this is why you don't ash folks this is why you don't ash okay all right so well, this kind of stinks because we really don't have anything to fucking do. <laughs> we really don't have anything to do. See, now we can burial, to be honest with you. We could burial or we can just, just attack over this. I did not think that uh, Cyber Dragons would be a card that that, would, that that was added, okay, from your deck to your hand. Completely fine. Um, main phase two, since I know he needs monsters. We'll just banish that. And then what we'll also do is use this to put the Cyber Dragon back to his deck. Oh, wait, what does it say? The activation of this card is negated. Wow, that's that's fresh. Um, all right, so we're gonna set this. And the reason why I'll make it that back is because they won't be able to use that uh, was because they need a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard. Okay. That's all we needed, folks. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Now we got game. Now we got game. All right. So now, now we're in. The, now we're in the game. Now we're in the game. All right. So now we can just win from here because, yeah, because that's why. That's exactly why we can just win from here. Um. So use you. And then we could send. Spirit Master. Then we can activate this Young Origin. Oh, excuse me, man. I was about—I thought I was about to burp, but I literally sat there for like four minutes and didn't burp. All right, so yeah, we definitely just got game here because we could just call monsters. And I mean, if you have something to stop that, you're just an amazing individual. All right, so the highest defense, I believe, it's 18. So. I can use I can actually use these two go into Wesson name can jump hmm I can dump strides to draw a card and then we can do yeah we, we yeah we, we, we can do that let's let's do that use these two bam dump strides to draw a card we'll add executor because Executor is the highest attack. Worst case scenario, we can just go, uh, what's the name to gain that young, uh, yeah, actually we, we, we got game because we do have Mizuki in the graveyard. Drawing a card. Oh yeah, there's a hound horde. That's actually pretty decent. Let's go Tormer Unicorn. He's not able to stop anything we got going on. Ditch that, spin that. Yeah, see then, you know, we can Mizuki for Unizombie. And if this wasn't already game, this is actually perfect game. If this wasn't already game, we could just send Mizuki, go what's in a banish that, and then Mizuki back to Battle Lord and attack for game. But I believe this is already game. That's what, 5,000 and... Yeah, I believe it's game. I hope it's game because I'm going to be very pissed to fuck off if it isn't. But, all right, looks like Ash was uh, actually pretty decent. It would have, I guess, preserved us game, you know? He has a monster in his graveyard. Oh, he has Ghost Ogre, okay. He has Ghost Ogre. All right. So, yeah, we got game one. So, now, folks, I believe since he's going to make me go second. Wait, who went second this game? I think I went first. Yeah, I believe he made me go first. Yeah, I believe he made me. Did I pick first? I hope I didn't. All right. So, as you can see, folks, I am siding Time Maidens. Uh, I mean, Time Lords, because think about it, folks. Relax. I can special summon this, right? Add any Time Lord and then banish it and add any Time Lord. So if one of these effects get negated, the second one's gonna go off. And 
Um, I have one that shuffles everything in the graveyard back to the deck. So if I'm playing against a zombie strategy or playing against 60 cards, bam, they can't do anything uh, because I believe they can't, well, they can respond to it, but I need to attack this one. No, wait, is it this one? No, see, and this one doesn't target. So I'm able to get over the gold key lock. This one bounces all the monsters and then this one bounces all spells and traps. So I can literally uh, search Medion, normal summon it, then special summon this one and then clear the whole, you know, clear the back row, then clear the monsters. And that'd be good. All right, since I'm going first, I believe there's nothing really to side. There's, I don't, there's nothing to side because it's going to make me go first. And um, this is something that you, you draw when you're playing in you know, a great deck like mine. Ooh, now that's pretty good. Um, it's really fucking good. We'll start with this. Activate that. Um, all right, doesn't have anything. Sad. I oh, mean, I wish these were two, but what's the name? This is why I, charge is ah, is very iffy. Charge is very very iffy. Um, actually, it's actually pretty decent right here, because what I can do, or what I could have did, was um. Definitely could have did a different move. Hmm, with well this, this is a very tough situation here. Uh, if I did not kind of, I mean, he's playing Ghost Order. So, um, Conventional Wisdom said just go Omega and try to return Mizuki. He'll probably just Ghost Order it then. Um, if I was a betting man, um, I would have discarded Go Gozuki, then went S Sucker, Monster Reborn Gozuki, drew a free card. And then went into a Wesley Don Dragster. Um, and that would have been good, but I am playing Cyber Dragon. So going Don Dragster doesn't do anything because it is a machine. And um, I guess worst case scenario, we won't lose because we have a Vindred charge. Um, but yeah, man, that's why you see a lot of people, you know, unless you're playing, I guess, pure Vindred. Vindred charge is really not that good because you need to, you know, send a zombie um, from your hand or face up and that's kind of restrictive even though basically everything in your deck is a zombie It's kind of restrictive and it's it's, it's a little it's a little um, I guess debilitating I guess to do see as you can see this man has that Which is fine because since he is playing cyber dragons. He needs me to control the monster which is uh, pretty cool that he got Ghost Ogre. That's why he was thinking if he wanted a Ghost Ogre, because he most likely has a Cyber Dragon sitting in his. Why? <laughs> Yo, man, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I play shit like this. Even though this is probably a good tech, why the hell are you playing Luna? I mean, that does not make any sense to me. Maybe it makes sense to y'all. Maybe there's some play I don't know about, but um, that's. It's awful. I mean, I don't know. And you could have just started off with this, like, pretty weird. Like, you could have started off with an emergency. Oh, hmm, it's actually pretty decent here. Um, okay, you're just gonna allow that to happen. Ooh, all right, so, hmm. We just send another Mizuki. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. And use the Mizuki to special summon Yuna Zombie. I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen right here. Oh, he's not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he's not gonna do it because yeah, I can just do that. Okay, so in this situation here, what do I want to do? Definitely want to go Vampire Sucker. If I'm able to go Vampire Sucker, I'm able to send something with Unizombie. But the whole thing with that is what do I want to send? Um, I actually don't know what to send. Hmm. This is actually pretty difficult. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's just um, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's see what we can get with this one. Uh, sure. No, I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. You can go ahead and do that all you want because we do have a what's the name? I can send Strides, right? You can send Strides, special summon Strides. Able to go what's the name? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. We might be able to game him. We have to draw a what's the name though. If we do not draw a, uh, if we do not draw a what's the name, we're kind of shit out of luck right now. <laughs> but we have to, we have to draw a what's the name. Uh, Gozuki's effect, absolutely. Ooh, that was not the greatest effect. But we have to draw a, a ritual, a ritual spell, something. We have to draw something because we can most likely get game. Oh god, now that's just beautiful. <laughs> that's just fucking beautiful right there, bro. Yo, that's just amazing. <laughs> I know he's upset. I, I I would be so fucking upset if I was him. Um, okay, so you can dish just get the slay I mean get revenants. Um I'm able to go tribute both for revenants. I believe activate this. Send this special summon. Uh I know I can game him. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get Battle Lord on the board. But I need to keep Unizombie. But I have a monster going. Okay, I don't, I don't even know why I'm thinking about this. Like this is completely game. This is like 1000% game. Um let's keep this is only once per turn, so we'll get core. I don't know why the fuck I did that. That was weird. That that was a fucking weird one right there, folks. Damn, that was that was just fucking retarded. I don't even know why I did that. That shit made no sense. Yo, that was a little weird. I, I'm a little. I feel stupid now. I like. I really feel stupid. I have no clue why I did that. Um, <laughs> I'd like now I have to waste a game out of my. Even though we got game, I'm just saying like that was just, that was just very, very unnecessary and uncalled for. Like yeah, this is stupid. All right. So yeah. Um, this is once again why this deck is so good going second is because of Battle Lord. Battle Lord's able to just counteract literally everything on your opponent's side of the field as long as you're able to get it out. Just call monsters. That's 32 and 4,000. Um, yeah, I mean, we have Monster Reborn, so that's you know, that's just another thing we could have just easily avoided by just playing correctly. Um, but yeah, man, we just, uh, we got this one. Yeah, we're just going for an attack. No reason to keep extending. Um, easily could have went Shogun Saga, easily could have did more. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna end it off pretty quickly. But yeah, man, this is, once again, why Battle Lord, I mean, uh, going second with this deck is so fantastic is because of Battle Lord. If Battle Lord was just during either player's turn, my god, man, my god, the potential of this deck shoots through the roof. Um, but going second makes Battle Lord a, basically makes Battle Lord what it actually should have been, which is a stun on your opponent's turn. Um, basically, a stun for your opponent. That's exactly what it should have been, but I guess. All right, so yeah, that was a lot longer than what it should have been. Um, yeah, man. So let me know what you guys think of the time mating thing because I, I think it's pretty cool. It's just once again testing out uh, just to see what I can do. Um, I did change the deck up a lot. I did take out certain cards to put in these two ashes and the gamma package because I feel like gamma is just really good, especially with this deck. You know what? We should probably throw in Avenger at Knights in this thing. Um, okay, don't know how to spell Vendreds all of a sudden. Um, I just want to throw in one Vendred at Knights. Oops, that's not Avenger at Knights. Uh, where are you at? <laughs> Throwing Avenger at Knights, um, I'm, I'm contemplating cutting Desires, all right? Uh, it, it really worked against me a couple of times. But with this deck, it's just so fantastic because you're able to just, you know, beat your opponent. Mm, I think we can cut it for a third Allure, um, but we play a lot of non-darks. So I don't even think Allure being at more than two is even... We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 12 out of 27, that's actually, we probably, to be honest with you, we should not even be playing Allure, because it's going to be dead most of the time, rather than not, so, hmm, I don't know if we should just play Desires or Allure, anyway, yeah, that's the deck, we're going to have to cut a card, though, going to cut one card, um, for this Fendra, you know what, fuck it, we're going to keep it 46, because that's what we do, we just make shit work, anyways, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys did enjoy the video i will be back in a couple hours so stay tuned for that um and if you guys want to help the channel out donation links are down in the description below besides that that is it for today thank you guys for watching not for today but for right now i'll be right back